Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of Mike on the Move. In this video, I will give you a full tour of my stateroom on board Atlas Ocean Voyage's newest ship, the World Traveler. This vessel is built to carry under 200 passengers, which in the cruise world is called an expedition ship. This ship is built extra tough to go to some of the most remote and off the beaten paths part of the world from the Arctic to Antarctica. But it is built as a luxury ship and its cabin and suites are designed above all else for comfort. Let's get this video started. So my stateroom was on deck five, number 526, a veranda cabin measuring 270 square feet. The room featured silvery blue and gray fabrics, leather stitched surfaces, and a marble lined bathroom that added an air of luxury and sophistication. Here's a broad look as we walk in. Once you walk in, you'll quickly realize it's a very cozy but elegant looking stateroom for a cruise to Antarctica. You will also notice all the glossy mahogany walls throughout the stateroom. There is a built-in side shelf covered in stitched white leather. A separate seating area has two chairs, a coffee table, and a lamp. The vanity was beautiful and functional. It was a good space to get ready for the day or to get some work done. The stool was very comfortable with its leather and wood finish. One of the best features I liked about this ship is you will find an all-inclusive, pre-selected mini bar, which includes your favorite choices of spirits, beer, soda, and juices. There is also an espresso machine, which came in handy in the morning, and a kettle for hot water. You will also find the food service menu, which is free in 24 hours. They also offer a variety of teas, which come with sugar and everything else you would need to make your coffee and tea. You also find a series of charging ports, which include UK, USA, and USB ports. Over by the bed, you will find a panel of light switches. I found this very convenient. You can control all the lights in the room from your bedside in case you are falling asleep and don't want to get out of bed to shut off the lights. And the nightstands come with plenty of drawer space. And they also include a reading light in the event you might want to read a book and not want to disturb your partner. And binoculars. Atlas provides a set of binoculars in every suite and stateroom for you to use freely for your wildlife viewing adventures. And the stateroom offered reusable aluminum water bottles to reduce plastic and waste. And the bedding was of good quality, very plush, which allows you to sink into when you lie down, which is what I like in my bedding. Now let's talk about the restroom. Immediately, I thought this is a very nice looking restroom. It was lined with marble and tile throughout the restroom, and it was stocked with the upscale L'Occitane products, including lotion, hand wash, shampoo, body wash, and conditioner. There was plenty of shelving, three exact above the toilet area, with barriers in case there were those rocking sea days. Alongside the shelving, you will find a UK port for the hairdryer, which is included in the bathroom. You'll also find lots of leg room for when you're using the toilet and more storage under the sink area. Now, the beautiful walk-in shower was one of the best features of the bathroom and the stateroom. The walk-in shower included three jets, a rainfall shower head, and a detachable shower head. The water temperature was very responsive as well. 
and here you'll find more of the L'Occitane products. The ship also provided us with two soft robes. The sink area was very nice, plenty of space to do your daily routine. And the restroom also had a magnifying mirror. I've always found these type of mirrors fun as a kid. Now let's move to the closet. The closet offered plenty of hangers for your clothes. There was a safe for your important items and you'll find lots of drawers and shelving space. And there's another space, but it's not for storage. However, it stores your life jackets. And on the corner end of the closet, you'll find additional closet space with more hangers for your clothes. You will also find an extra comforter for those cold nights on the balcony and a set of sandals in case you forgot yours. Now the closet space is a little small, but if you're efficient with your drawers and shelving, you can make really good use of the available storage space. The stateroom also offers plenty of UK, US, and USB ports throughout. Overall, this is one of the most beautiful and luxurious rooms I've ever stayed in on a cruise ship. With its retro chic elegance, onboard accommodations, and a wide range of stateroom choices for an expedition ship, the World Traveler offers plenty, which is rare in the world of expedition cruising. Well folks, this is the end of my video and I hope you found it helpful as you plan for your next cruise adventure. Before you go, make sure to subscribe to Mike on the Move so I can keep you posted on my latest videos and adventures. Talk soon, later.